Where are all the electric dirt bikes? Some of us have been waiting years now for that breakthrough moment when an electric dirt bike can match its smelly, noisy cousins for lightweight, power and distance. Imagine this baby available for less than current prices. No clutch, no gear changes, no stalling, instant torque, impossible to drown, no oil changes or cleaning air filters, left hand rear brake, infinitely adjustable power settings. Oh, where do I sign up? E-bikes are doing well in other areas. An electric bike has done the quarter mile in six seconds. Another one has reached 408 kilometres per hour. And there are some quite decent electric road bikes and scooters now, but dirt bikes pose a real challenge with the demand for lightweight, plenty of power and a decent range. Things did look promising with the Ulta Redshift a few years ago. The motocross model weighed in at a hefty 120 kilograms, but had a claimed output of 50 horsepower. Ulta claimed the battery could last 25 minutes of racing or up to four hours cruising in the woods, but it was bloody expensive and they went bankrupt. KDM brought out their e-ride a few years ago, then it mysteriously disappeared. Now it's back again. The claimed weight of 108 kilograms is pretty good, around the same as a two-stroke enduro bike with half a tank of fuel. But that's at the expense of range and power. Owners of the new model report one to two hours riding, depending on how aggressive you are. And the power output of 24.5 horsepower is only about half that of a 300 two-stroke. And there's the Chinese-made Suron Storm B. It's definitely on the heavy side at 127 kilograms for their off-road version. It has a claimed maximum of 30 horsepower and a claimed range of 100 kilometers, sitting on a steady 50 kilometers per hour. Unfortunately, we need several big changes to make this sort of electric dirt bike a reality. The biggest hurdles, heavy weight, limited range, not enough power, long charge times, too expensive, and often just so ugly. But this could all change soon. First, battery technology. The current ones are still bulky, heavy, don't store enough energy and take too long to charge. But it could all change soon. Elon Musk reckons we will see dramatic improvements in the current lithium ion batteries in coming years. Otherwise, a more recent technology, ultra capacitors, might pave the way to much more effective batteries. And there's also a lithium titanium oxide battery that can be potentially charged in under 10 minutes and last almost forever. Second, the electric engines. The faster they can spin, the more power you get. But cooling becomes a problem. Tesla has lighter, more powerful engines on the way as they manage to keep them cooler at high revs. And two Italian companies are pioneering liquid-cooled electric engines for the same purpose. Third, prices will get cheaper, <laughs> eventually. Unfortunately, research and development is expensive, so it's almost all happening in the automotive world. Eventually, it trickles down into the motorbike industry, and then eventually into dirt bikes. But we will need to see quite a few breakthroughs and big sales before decent electric dirt bikes are cheap. Four, the ugly factor. <laughs> These bikes have really been hit with the ugly stick, repeatedly. Are they letting the interns design them after too many hash cookies? Who knows? I went to a recent motorbike exhibition and looked at these electric horrors. It will be interesting to see how long it takes us to adapt to a different style of look as electric dirt bikes become popular. With a bit of luck, the Japanese might come up with a good looking bike. This is Yamaha's prototype. And Honda is working on this motocross version. And for those who will miss the noise, you can just plug your headphones in while riding or make your own sounds. <coughs> so what do you guys think? 
Are you keen to see decent electric dirt bikes? Or will that smelly, noisy old bike have to be pried from your cold, dead fingers? Keen to hear your thoughts.